Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this square A, B, C, D, and we have got this E, D as an angle bisector such that these two angles are equal and moreover this side a e is x and this side a d is y and moreover this x plus y equals to 8 and now we are going to calculate the area of this square a b c d so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular or vertical ef on this diagonal bd let's go ahead so there's a some point f is over here such that we are going to draw this 90 degree angle and here's our much nicer looking diagram then according to the angle bisector theorem this e a e this side length a e and this side e f are equal in length and we know that this side is x so this has got to be x as well so therefore e f turns out to be x and here's our next step. Let's focus on these two triangles A, E, D and this triangle D, E, F. And we know that this A, B, C, D is a square. So that means this angle A is 90 degree angle. And moreover, we know that the sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. If this angle is theta, and if I call this angle alpha, then these angles alpha and theta are called complementary angles. And here's the definition of complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. And moreover, in this triangle, we can see that this angle has got to be alpha as well because alpha and theta are complementary angles. So therefore, we can see that these two angles are congruent. So then we conclude that these two triangles, triangle a E D and triangle D E F are congruent triangles according to the angle side angle theorem and one more thing this is the side that both of these triangle share that is in common and since these two triangles are congruent so we conclude that A D equal to F D that means this side is same as this side if this side is y then this has got to be y as well so therefore our fd length turns out to be y and here's our next step let's focus on this triangle efb and we know that this diagonal BD is the diagonal of this square ABCD so that means this angle has got to be 45 degrees and we know that this angle is 90 degrees and we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle are 180 degrees so that means this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well so that means this angle ebf and the angle bef are 45 degrees each therefore we conclude that this triangle efb is an isosceles triangle that means this side equal to this side that means this side EF is equal to the side BF. So that means this side BF has got to be X as well. 
And here's our next step. Let's focus on this main diagonal BD. You can see that this main diagonal is BD and that is equal to this length BF and this length FD. That means we are going to add them. So therefore our this BD length turns out to be equal to this X and then plus this Y and that's what I just wrote down over here. And we know that our X plus Y value is 8 so therefore I can replace this X plus Y by 8. So therefore our this BD length turns out to be 8 this BD is 8 units and we know that the diagonal of the square is BD so therefore I'm going to call D equals to 8 where D stands for the diagonal of this square A, B, C, D and here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this square A, B, C, D whose diagonal turns out to be D equals to 8 units. And here's the area of a square formula. Area equals to D square divided by 2 where D stands for the diagonal of this square A, B, C, D. And our diagonal D is 8. So let's go ahead and calculate the area now for this square d square divided by 2 and we know d equals to 8 so area equal to 8 square divided by 2 so area turns out to be 64 divided by 2 so the area of this square turns out to be 32 square units and that is our final answer. Now let's go ahead and recap our steps pretty quick. First of all we knew that our x plus y equals to 8 and after using angle bisector theorem we concluded that these two triangles are congruent. We figured out our diagonal BD equals to 8 and finally we use this formula of the area. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.